best known for his eye for interiors and the host of Channel 4's Changing Rooms. But this Easter, Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen is about to embark on something very, very different. And the fabulous Lawrence is here with us now. Lawrence, now, I mean, you've undertook this pilgrimage and I know um, you were big into Celtic history. Yeah. Did, did it change you? Did it change me? Yeah. I don't know whether it... I didn't change it, actually. <laughs> I think the whole sort of face of pilgrimage... No, I mean, as a Welshman, I'm passionate about um, Celtic history and, and uh, this was a really, really interesting moment where um, Celtic Christianity... Do you talk call it Celtic? Because I, I say Celtic. Yeah, what but that's is a football right... team. Right, OK. Kel no. yeah. right. So I'm, I'm going with yeah. that oh, one. You're going with the proper Celtic version. All right. So yeah. it's Celtic. But, I mean, you do whatever you want. All right. Yeah. You could call it Celtic <laughs> if you wanted to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, looking like that, you could oh, get Kel away Kel with it. You know. Lawrence, coming yeah. from you, Lawrence, and how good you look. That is very, very... Yeah, I'm very honoured. Thank you. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> shall we? Um, no, 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 because it is absolutely fascinating that the, when the Romans got kicked out, you know, actually Christianity in um, Ireland, which is where we were there, County Antrim, um, and a little bit of Scotland and Wales sort of did its own thing and it became much more kind of relaxed and naturalistic. So I was interested in it. Um, I liked the idea of pilgrimage. I originally was speaking to the BBC about slightly more far-flung pilgrimages in places like Indonesia or Japan. The telephone call came through, it's Northern Ireland. Mm. So, you know, but it's lovely. I mean, you know, actually, I think one of the big things that, that uh, lockdown's taught us all yeah. is that, you know, we have the most extraordinary landscape and history and culture on our doorsteps. We don't need to be going to the other side of the world just, just to find something interesting. Absolutely. And, and the show, uh, just give us a, the, the, the premise of the show, because it's not everyone on the pilgrimage isn't the same religion. There's lots no. of different religions on the pilgrimage. No, this is very much the point. Lots of different faiths. It, it's, it is. And it's all about um, uh, encouraging us all to talk about what we believe in. And actually, I think this, this worked very well here, because it was about trying to get uh, a sense of commonality, mm. you know, the the bits that we agreed on rather than the bits that we didn't agree on. It was a bit like, um, you know, it's a bit like sort of help them a celebrity get me out of here, only help them an agnostic get me out of here. You know, it's a bit more, bit more thoughtful. Um, but it was, it was, I think they did a really, really good job in finding people like Monty Panazar, who's got this incredible, you know, very beautiful, very thought through faith in Sikhism. And then Nick Cure from The Apprentice, who'd, who'd had a very bad experience with Catholicism as a child. Um, so he's very much trying to work that through and Shazia who's, who's um, uh, uh, Islamic you know it's, it's we were all there and we all had our own point of view. Was it difficult or was it easy to find the common thread amongst all those faiths and all those followers of specific Well faiths? I think the breakthrough moment happened just after that clip when we all discovered booze right. um, which you know right. I like and you know because I, I identified as a, pa a pagan because pagan, there yeah. wasn't yeah. one um, but of course you know booze is a big part of paganism you know what I ended up doing though in that bothy they were all getting drunk I was doing the washing up Oh. I don't think that's very pagan, to be honest. Wow. So do you feel more spiritual? I do. I mean, but, you know, the thing that really struck me... So we live in this beautiful country yeah. and we're surrounded by the most beautiful countryside. But then also you go to somewhere like the, the Cathedral on Iona, which is our, our destination. There's somewhere that was built with boulders from the beach 2,000 years ago. And just, it sort of, you, there it is. It, you, just, you just feel that sense of all of those souls that were there, that were worshipping there, that, that created... You, I, for me, I didn't need God. Actually, the human beings that had created that was, was the thing that was so powerful and so spiritual and so moving. What was the energy like when you walked in there? Well, when I walked in, it was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> when you left, Suddenly it was crackled. even better, Lawrence. Then everything just went through when I did, left. Yeah. Did you, do you ever... Uh, this is a really, really <laughs> cheesy question, I apologise. Because of what you do on Changing Rooms, yeah. do you ever walk into a, a, a place of faith, a place of worship, and go, you know what, it would mean more if we added more symbols or we did a little bit of extra within this place it's of worship? It's a good question. It's a very good question because I am... Because I, I, the reason why I ask is because all churches, uh, all Roman Catholic churches that I've visited, they yeah. all have the 12 commandments around the outside. They do. And that's yeah. it. Yeah. You know, a, a statue of Jesus, Mary. Well, of course, with, with Roman Catholicism, you know, because it was banned for such a long time in the UK, most Roman Catholic churches are, are modern. Mm. Um, but no, I'm very, very interested in the symbology of religion and, mm. and, and you know, the way that religion is always communicated through symbols and design and music and architecture. And actually, I find that history fabulously mm. 
moving, you know, at whatever the faith. Every place of faith has an incredible energy to it. But, yeah, of course I'm thinking, yeah, if you move the cushions a little bit to the left, it'll look a lot better. <laughs> Go better with the curtains. More drapes. More drapes. Well, yeah. You know, religion, it brings people together, doesn't it? It should do. And it I think that this is, this is one of the things that we, you know, we really prove with this, that actually, particularly now, particularly in the 21st century, um, actually there is something really lovely and powerful about belief. Yeah. You know, to believe in something is quite rare these these days. You know, a lot of people don't believe in anything at all. But actually, when you have that sense of belief, and, and Monty is a very good example of that, you become a very, you've become very good with yourself. Yeah. And I think you're actually very good with other people as a result. I think as the year's gone on, we've like severed our connection with spirit. But uh, Well, you say that, but I think we, we, we're trying to get back there a bit. You know, the this whole sort of sense of, you know, um, uh, wanting to engage with nature, I think is yeah. a very important part of it, but also wellness. I mean, the, the cult of wellness is actually a cult of spirituality as well. Yeah, we want to spend absolutely. time in places that make our body feel better and then we hope our mind's going to feel better as well. A couple of wind chimes. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Always cleanses the soul, yeah. I find. What was the, what was the one topic of so conversation that could have been di divisive, that could have separated the group? Well, I think one of the things that was very interesting was Scarlett, who I, I think is incredible, I mean, uh, um, uh, an amazing human being. She was very insecure about talking about her religion because of her position as an influencer. And I, I found that... Right. And we explore that through the programme. So you've got, you've got faith and then what, what I guess is the modern version of us following Celebrity. someone and being yeah, exactly. influenced. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Um, and she was concerned that there'd be a lot of people that would be literally turned off her um, because she was a Christian. And we were kept saying, no, listen, actually, I had to completely disagree. You know, actually, people are absolutely drawn to anybody who's prepared to express an opinion about who they are mm. and about their spirituality. There's something very beautiful, very powerful about that. Never hide that. And I think of all of us, she's the one that, 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 that got so much strength from the entire experience, along with the rubbed bits and the blisters. You know, yeah. she got spiritual strength as well. Yeah. And talking about the blisters, you actually got lost, didn't you? Well, yeah, I know this is quite illuminating, isn't it? 21st century. You know, um, uh, pilgrimages, you know, for hundreds of years, God was the guide. Now it's Satnav. <laughs> and actually, I think God's probably a lot more reliable. Jeff Bezos. Um, we, end we literally, we ended up in some poor bloke's just like farmyard. We were trying to find St. Columba's stone. And he wasn't impressed, mm -hmm. to be honest. He really, you know. And then I rather flip, he said, Where are you from? And I said, Rather flippantly, he said, Planet Celebrity. And that had it, that was it. Oh. You know, I thought he was going to get out his gun and chase us off his, uh, off his land. Lawrence, thank you very much uh, for enlightening us. And uh, it's going to be a really interesting watch, watching you guys discuss faith. Yeah. Uh, because we live in a, a multi faith society, don't we? Absolutely. And I think, you know, as the, as the journey goes on, we're on Friday and then the following Friday. Um, I think that it, uh, uh, we go deeper and deeper into it. Um, and yes, I still wear the suit all the way through. I, I love do it. not change, I do not put on an anorak. I stick with the suit. You didn't nice. let us down. Tailoring wins in the end. <laughs> All, always fabulous. Always fabulous. Thanks for coming on, Lawrence. Thank you. Thank you.